Charlotte Ward, I'm the owner of Phoenix Pro Fitness and today I want to show you a really quick and easy workout you can do pretty much anywhere using a Z trainer and it's going to give you an absolutely great shape for the summer. First thing we need to do is a good thorough warm up. So we're going to start off with a skip, okay? So follow me. From there, we're going to go into a backward walk. So put your hands on your hips, and we're just literally going to extend the leg out behind you. You can lean forward a little bit, just to help you keep your balance. Okay? All of these you want to do for at least 20 metres, possibly 30. So you can do it in your back garden, or up and down your front room, wherever it suits you. From there we're going to go into a revolving squat. So you can either have your hands behind your head and pull your elbows right back, or hands on your hips, but keep your chest up nice and tall. And we're just going to turn around and squat. Again, over the same distance. From there, you're going to go into a lateral shuffle. Okay, so into what we call jump position. Knees slightly bent, and we're just going to shuffle sideways. Obviously go in both directions. I'm just going over a short distance here so you can see what, what you need to do, but obviously you want to go for a little bit longer than that. And then finally, an upper body exercise called scarecrows. We're going to go into a bent over row position, so just slightly inclined forward, hips back. You're going to let the hands drop out forward, and you're going to pull your elbows up behind you, so you really retract your shoulder blades right back together. Extend and rotate your arms, so just lifting your hands up, pressing them overhead, back in the same way, and then rotating back down again. And we need to do 10 of those. And that should have you nice and warmed up, ready for our summer workout with a Z trainer. Once you've done your warm up, we're ready to go into our core work. Now, I like to work the trunk area first because I think it's really handy to sort of activate those core stabilizing muscles before we start doing the more sort of loaded resistance work later on. First, what we're going to do is called a mountain climber. It's quite a tough exercise, so be warned. Just put your feet in the knee handles and cross your legs over so you can easily flip over onto your front. It's easier than trying to do it backwards. And then we're going to maintain a nice straight arm position, nice and straight through your body. And keeping that alignment, we're just going to then pull the knees up for 10 reps on either side. Okay? So that's your mountain climber. From there, we're going to flip over onto our side for a side plank. Okay? So legs nice and straight. Now this is quite a tough exercise, so if you find it very difficult, you can just maintain this position and just hold it there for 30 seconds. If this feels quite easy, you can then add a hip lift. So it's just dropping your hip down to the floor and pulsing back up, having to really, really stabilise through your pelvis. Okay, so you can do ten of those on each side, and you're going to flip over on the seat and do the same on the other side. And we're going to start off with two sets of, of that superset. So you do one of each exercise, and then have a little rest, and then do it again and repeat it for two to three. Then we're going to go on to the main portion of our resistance training. Okay, so now you've got your core activated, it's time to get on with the real heart rate boosting work. We're going to start off with a 10 minute round of two exercises. Okay, the first one is called an inverted row. So we're going to take our center trainer, feet right underneath it, so the harder you want it to be, the further you want to have your feet forward. And we're just going to keep our hands so palms facing down, keeping the shoulders back, and we're going to pull in rotating our hands outwards as we go, so the elbows stay nice and close to your ribcage. So you're just rowing yourself right up, keeping your hips up so your core stays activated. We're going to perform 10 reps of those, okay, as quickly as you can, but also with good form, that's the priority. And then we're going to go, going to go into an assisted jump squat, so just using the straps to help you maintain your balance. We're going to take a nice deep squat down, and then jump up straight into the squat again, and we're going to do 10 of those. Now, if you have any knee issues, or ankle issues, or 
any sort of issue with your legs at all, then I would just do a normal squat. So straight forward, body weight squat, keeping the chest nice and tall, back nice and straight, and pushing up, squeezing your butt muscles at the top. All right, so we're going to do 10 minutes of that, and you're going to do as many rounds as you can. So you just go from one exercise to the other and back again, many times as you can, and then next week you can try and beat your score. Okay, so those two exercises worked your upper back muscles and also your legs. This time we're going to go into the chest with an incline press up. So we're going to take the straps out in front of us this time. Again, nice and straight through your body, so you've got good alignment between your shoulder and your ankle. And maintaining that position, we're just going to drop down and then push back out again. Obviously, the further you take your feet back, the more weight you're going to have in your hands, the harder it will be. Alright, so if you want it to be nice and easy, bring your feet forward, harder, take them back. Okay? We're going to do 10 reps of those. Then we're going to go into more leg work, because you need to have nice toned legs for the beach in the summer. And we're going to do what's called a cross behind lunge. So we're going to take one leg right across behind us, keeping the pelvis aligned forward, and we're just simply going to drop that back knee down behind and push back up again. Okay, and that's your cross behind lunge. Obviously, you need to work both sides, so 10 reps on both sides. Our final superset combines two exercises one which is the ZT supine hip extension, which is brilliant for your hamstrings and your butt. And the last one is a core fallout, which I'll show you in a second. Fantastic for your entire trunk section. So I'll show you the supine hip extension first. We're just going to put our hip, our feet sorry, in the hole that is like so. And then from there, all you're going to do is lift up so you're really squeezing your glutes without extending too much through your back. So you shouldn't feel this too much in your back and then lower down again. So quite a small movement. And we're just going to do 10 of those. And then you're going to quickly whip your feet out again. Jump up and we're going to go straight into core fallout. So this time we're going to have hands on the handles as if we're in a push-up position. The steeper you make the incline, the harder it is. Okay, so don't start off too low to the floor. And you're just going to take your arms out as far as you can whilst maintaining a nice straight line through your body and then back in. If that feels too hard then you can just take it a little bit shallower, like so. We're going to do 10 reps of each of those as many times around as you can in 10 minutes. And that is the Charlotte Ward Summer ZT Workout.